anniversary of federal recognition, the Mashpee Wampanoag are reminded that the struggle to survive continues to be both an asset and a detriment to the new nation. Recognition was not necessary to confirm their status as ancient people, but to continue the survival quest and provide assistance on the road to self-sufficiency. But you know what? As long as we kept going and going time and time again to say, you may think that we're extinct, you may try to eradicate us just on some paper, but you know what? The body's still here, the mind is still here, and we're still at the practice what we did that our grandfathers gave and our grandmothers gave to us. And that's what got us here, I believe. That's my personal, in my heart, belief. If it wasn't for the hunters and the fishermen, I think we might have lost the case a long time ago. The Mashpee Wampanoag are considered the most credentialed Native Americans in the United States because, unlike many other tribes, they never stopped practicing their traditions. Most believe it shielded the tribe because of the commonality of lifestyles and cultural activities that kept the outside world at bay. Nonetheless, the remarkable resilience of the Mashpee Wampanoag is well known in Indian country. The generational consistency is apparent. We all came from one communal pot. And the reason why we did that is because we all ate together, and as we sat and we ate together, we all talked about things that went on in the tribe, whether the heron are in, everything is good, the, the squash is being harvested now, it's in the fall, um, it's in the summer, we're going to move our camps closer to the water so we can get fish, so we can salt fish. I still say once a year this, they, that we still have a dinner where they eat all traditional food. Now, we don't eat it because we have to. We eat it to remember. And you know that the memories of your ancestors are still ringing in your ear as you walk along.